All right. Hello, folks. Hey, me, 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 here again. Wow. Got a black canvas up here. Got us some tea. Ready? All right. It's late. I'm going to be more quiet tonight, I think. Probably get talking about something crazy, though. All right. So, black canvas. I took. Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown. More Van Dyke brown than Prussian blue, and that's all that's over the canvas. Simple seascape. Get me a little drink and we'll start. Ugh, never had that tea. A little strong. <clears throat> Alright, and all we need is that color Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown. More Van Dyke than Prussian, or Burn Umber, whatever brown you're using. The dark brown. And we want. I think, oh, I was going to use the one inch, I think I'll switch to the Filbert. I want this guy to stay kind of dark. It's going to be an easy seascape. Easy seascape. Easy, easy, easy. Somewhere up here, there's going to be a cloud. Loading. And I may change my mind. Yeah, I think I will change my mind real quick. Let's take a one inch brush. Let's just do, redo a little bit of a redo here. I want a little bit of color up in here before I start. There we go. You can see I've got the paint on there quite thick. I'm not going to put a lot of color on here, but I want a little bit of that white stretched up. I was going to try it without doing that. Yeah, it's going to look better when I knock all that down with the, the bigger brush here. Just kind of stretching a little bit of that color out. I want the sky to be about right there. So we want the sky up in almost the two-thirds of the canvas, up to the higher third of the canvas than anywhere. <clears throat> like I said, super simple seascape. I don't want to put a lot of color up here yet, though. A lot of white. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's much better than using just the black. So, <clears throat> I didn't put any medium on the canvas. It's just paint and that's it. It's the paint I mixed up the, the Prussian blue and the uh, Van Dyke brown together. And that's all. When you paint this, put you some medium on there if you want to. It won't hurt my feelings. I've just got to where I don't usually put any. Yeah, so that's what I want. A little more ghostly up there. Not much color. I'm not making this too bright just yet. Clouds will be bright. The sky won't be. And we can envision but right there's our sky. A little bit higher than this. So, there we go. And it's a cheap canvas. I wish I'm out of good ones. I had to order some. These good canvases work much better for these things. Let's use our filbert now and just kind of strengthen that cloud a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Big, big roller here. A big puffy roller coming in here. You could use a fan brush for this. I'm using a filbert. Whatever. Whatever works for you. There is no right or wrong. There's no real reason why I'm using a filbert either. That's what I have out. Sometimes I just like trying to use different brushes for different things. Experimentation kind of. There we go. No, no moon. You can put a moon up here to be fine. This is more about the rest of the painting. We'll throw this guy in pretty quick. I'm trying to see it on my camera, I can't see it. <clears throat> so it's titanium white and that dark color, and that's all you need. And to really kind of do this, you can outline your cloud just by doing this, and then just go back and sock a little color behind it. If you don't put any color behind it, you get a little stringy looking cloud. And I like my clouds to be a little beefy like me. There we go. And trying to save a little bit. Maybe there's a something up here. I'll put up there. All right. Knock this back. See if I got a clean one. Yeah. There we go. Knock that back a little bit. One reason I don't use the media is I'm trying to cut down on the glare. I think that helps with the glare. It may not. Kind of pulling that cloud, that color back. 
and also when I get down to doing the wave and things the the less paint I have up here the better will be the easier it's going to be for us to do anything really yeah I don't like that I don't know what I did there yeah. see how I can move that around you get the different looks there we go I'll tell you, you know, I don't even have a fan brush here I wish I did I don't want to stop the video and go get one so I'm just going to use a I've got that old dagger. Somebody asked me what the brand on It's not a brand. There is, uh, these are kind of trial brushes that I was trying out to see if I wanted to order them. I want a little bit of movement up in here. And then we'll just kind of use this brush just to stretch that out a little bit. Get something happening. Maybe a weather balloon up there from China. I don't know. Crazy, crazy stuff, right? <clears throat> I just hope it didn't have a zombie virus or something in it. Alright. Maybe one over here and then we'll, we'll, we'll be good. Whatever shape you want to make your cuts. I like to have them kind of rolling. I kind of paint the... almost. Unfortunately, sometimes I paint almost the same looking clouds. Have that one kind of come in front of that one a little bit. To me, it doesn't really matter. Have that cloud color back there. Stretch it up wherever. Alright. Pull that back just like we would if it was a wet canvas here. It's kind of wet. I mean, there's paint on it, right? Set it down. Set it down. Now we can just whew, loosely, no pressure on your brush. I'm using a one inch, you can use a two here. Just kind of big strokes set that down i don't have a ton of paint on here so i don't have to worry about too many of the little things flying out of my clouds something like that there we go something like that and if we ever wanted to we take the filbert or something else Oop, sorry just kind of strengthen a few of these just trying to strengthen those edges. Okay. Just here and there. Don't know where the moon's sitting, but... And the good thing is, you have the, the ability here to not worry about that. Just leave that kind of bright. You don't have to blend everything away. I like it. Where else might we... It looks like a face right there. I don't know if you want to see it. I probably won't mess with that one. Unless it creeps me out later. Another old man face right there. I'm just kind of strengthening up those tops. Don't really need to do this. This is me saying, oh, not good enough. Yeah, just a couple little spots. Some brighter clouds would be nice. Yeah, take one more spot here. I like, I like this one being brighter. I don't know why. Again, you could do that with the filbert I was using. I just grab this one. Basic things going on here. Just fine paint. Whatever you use to apply paint. Your finger, whatever. Would work. There we go. There we go. You know what? Change my mind. Do this real quick. Oh, look at that. There we go. There's the moon. Now it makes sense that those clouds have a little bit of light hitting them. See what we're looking like. Oh yeah. This looks blue on the camera. It's more of a... It's got more green in it than blue. Mine does. In, in person. Alright. <clears throat> now... See, easy, easy, seascape. Let's find our horizon. What am I hitting? Phone charger. Sorry about all the noise. Racket. Oh, I think the land is... The water is right there. It starts right there. Wow, that's a pie. I think that'll look good. 
I have to turn that back into clouds. Making sure it's kind of sawing back and forth. Back in here to leave a good bit of dark and keep these sides darker than the middle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got an errant hair from something. I'll have to fix that little spot if you guys can see it. Now, could you do this with anything else? Sure. Let me see. Ah! I got lucky. Fan brush. Use a fan brush for this. I want people to get tired of using the knife. Just take some color. You almost use a little bit of a rocking stroke. A little bit of a rocking stroke. Let's we'll just take a little bit of a... We're going to have a couple little islands and things over there, so I'm not really worried about it. The noise on the canvas is going to put me to sleep. I think I like the knife better than this. Just to be honest. This will get us a little bit of a start. I gotta cut this uh, glare. It's not glare, but you can probably see see the can. Look at that. It looks. Let's see if it shows up on the camera. I'm seeing just really weird shapes there and lines in the paint. Uh, and it's cutting off right there at the paint. Let's get another sip of our tea. Late night painting with Bram. There we go. <clears throat> All right. I'll probably take a blender brush and get rid of that little guy. And I'll probably put some of those. I'm going to do brush and knife. You can do either or. I like the knife. Gives you a really nice look. Let's just go back to our knife and put a few more in here. I kind of like them both. I kind of like to do a little bit of each. It's a stormy night out here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look how easy this is. Those waves are rolling and crashing everywhere. Be out there. You wouldn't want to be out there. You're going to go for a rough ride. Yeah. And make sure you don't um, have patterns. Like the same level. So you got to half inch here, half inch here, half inch here. Go back, mess it up a little bit if you need to. Maybe even touch some of this run under the moonlight even brighter. Keep it dark on the edges. That's going to be a moody seascape. I painted that red one the other day. That's kind of moody. Blood red wave. I changed the name to crimson wave. Crazy reason why I just did. That's what I used to call it. All right, I think that's good for what I want. And then we can think about some little islands. So we're going to have an island over here, island over here. The water is going to kind of come in like this, almost a little, like it's running like a lake, but it's not. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me a drink. I got to go up and see my daughter and our grandkid today. Play with her. My daughter didn't fix us anything to eat, so I'm still hungry. Alright, I'm going to take a brush here. Super soft. Just kind of brush over this very lightly. Kind of like I did in the other one. Very lightly. And if you like the chunkiness look, leave it. Don't touch it. I kind of like that. Alright, let's put our land in now. Tell you what, I'll, I'll just use a fly. I'm going to use a different brush. <coughs> Excuse me. You could literally use the same brush for the whole painting. Filbert, or one inch to put it on, you know, whatever. A couple brushes would do you. I'm just making a judgment call here for me. Alright, so the reason I didn't need much here, there's a piece of land in the water. Something like that. Sock it in there, shape it out. There we go. And it comes out in the water just about right there. Make sure we can see that. Oh, goodness. 
Sorry about hitting that cord down there. There we go. Wherever you think it ends in the water. Maybe. Maybe. It's got another little piece off of it like that. Who knows? Whatever. Really doesn't matter. Now we'll have to put a little bit of light over here. Like near that. Or it's going to look odd. This is going to be so easy. Beginner seascape. If I've ever seen one. Yeah. I'm just brushing over that super lightly. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let me clean my filbert. I can wipe some of that white out. Kind of like the way it works better. Yeah, I can load up a ton of paint here. Versus that other one. Ooh, somewhere here. Oh, this is a good, oh, well. It's a good opportunity, I thought, but I don't think it will be. There. Don't do that. Unless you want dirty fingers. See how much paint I'm using? That's going to come out into the water right there. There we go. I'm just going to sock it in there and then I'm going to darken it back up. I like that. We're going to play around with those. We may throw a little bit of a highlight. We may put some fake trees on them. I didn't mean to say fake. Uh, indications of trees. How about that? I'm trying to get that to lay down so that you guys can see it without all the bumps and things. This needs to be dark for now. Well, there's two of them. Okay. Let's keep working a little bit down. This is not a big wave seascape. I want a little bit of light over here, though. Most of it. Oh, so that's too bright, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. Same thing over here. We need a little bit over there. A little bit around our first little bit of land. Where's our brush here? I'm missing my good canvases, guys. If you need good canvases, what do I mean by good canvas? I don't like sun belts. I also like Michael's level two and three i like the level three a little better they do have that's your gallery wrap so they're going to be quite a, quite a bit bigger and a little more expensive so depends on what you're looking for really i don't know if y'all can see all those little little things going on i'm going to go ahead and take that let's just use our fan brush we're switching back and forth you can stay with the knife, you can stay with the fan brush, doesn't really matter. You know, I go back and forth. I'll do a little bit with the fan, do a little bit with the knife. Do a little bit with the fan, do a little bit with the knife. Let's go ahead and just sock our wave in here. I'm sorry, some color for the wave. Yeah, I've got that perspective where you've got up, up, up above that half point. Just throw some color. Whoa, what is he doing? Messing it up is what I'm doing. Let's set that down. Go right across it. Just need a little, little bit of brightness in there for now. Make sure we're going straight across. There we go. <clears throat> My voice is hoarse for making animal noises and Hooping and hollering for my granddaughter. I sound hoarse to you guys. I know I sound hoarse to myself. What do I got here? All right. What do we want to do next? I want to make sure and save that. And actually, I think I'm going to change it just a little bit. Yeah. Artistic license. This one? It's a big one. It can be right there. That's fine. Yeah, let me play with the shapes on these in a little bit. I want them all to be like super. Oh, look at 
that's coming right out into that water. What in the world is going on with that? I'm socking some dirt back in. Cutting that right in there. On a good bit of paint. Just change it a little bit. I want it just be a one little shape there. Something like that. There we go. Okay. Just need to keep it dark. Need it to be dark. That's really it. For this one. And I want to save that little pocket back in there where the water could go back in here and crash on this rock. That is a cool little look. This is not your beaches in uh, North Carolina. This is out in the coast, probably. Let's say Oregon. Got lots of rocks out there somewhere on the California coast, wherever. Yeah, I don't want that to go too far out, so be careful. And then I always like to have a little something like that off of these rocks too. And we're, gonna, we're just blocking them in right now. Doesn't matter what they look like at this point. <clears throat> at least that's what I'm going to tell you. We can kind of just get a little brush over. And I'm mainly doing this so I can see it. It's got a bad shadow for me. Um, where the light's hitting, the, the direction. I can't really see the shape. That helps me to see it. May not, may make it worse for you guys though. All right. Give me another drink of tea. Let's see what we want to do next. So I'm thinking, very simplified wages. They're not going to be, we're not going to have eyes that we have to worry about or anything. Big crashers or anything. This water just comes in here and plays and has a good old time. Okay. Y'all see the little line there? I don't know if you can see it. I had this as a moon. I don't know what happened to the to it, so I just went over it with gesso. I hadn't painted it yet. It had a shape on there for a moon. Alright, and I may bring that one out a little bit here in a minute. I don't know. About right there. See? I've got plans for here and here. But what are we going to do here? We're just going to take our knife. Maybe right here. I'm going to go put it down like that. Okay? Use our fan brush here. And we're just going to rock this back a little bit. All this color. Like that's a wave back in there. I had to put a little more paint on there. There we go. Pulling it back. I'm going to pull it up. These are getting closer to us here on the beach. And we may see a little detail in some of these. See how that looks like a little wave starting to go? And then what I would do with it occasionally, we'll let it just kind of Start rolling over. No eyes. This is super simple. We don't need the big, the big eyes. Don't do all of it like this either. Let me grab a little bit in there. Okay. There's some movement happening. That's all that is. One more right here. Oh. go yeah we're gonna rock some of this back starting to get closer to land getting a little more shallow hitting something hitting rocks under there probably see that this is a super easy way to do a seascape it looks pretty cool leave some of the dark I'm just rocking that back and then the last one we put our line, get some white on here. It's, we don't have much here. We've got something here and here. 
So we can go here. We can go here. Let's drop down a little bit here. And I'm going to really exaggerate this bit of white on here. I'll let it be a little just like that. Whatever that means. You have to determine for yourself. This is a little bit bigger wave. Okay, I'm going to Brush this one back. Yes, that rocking motion. Always rocking it back. And we're going to do something else with this one. I'm going to get some of it back in this area here. I'm trying to pull it all in that same direction. We don't want to like pull it this way and then come over and go that way. With the back of it. It wouldn't look right. There we go. Now, we've got that done, we can brush a little bit of it out, like it's rolling down. Don't worry, makes sense here in a minute. I guess you could put an eye on this one right here, or we just have it kind of coming out. It's getting rough out there. And let's see. Now, we'll take a brush. I want to kind of blend this out. Kind of go over it a little bit. And we'll do one more thing to it. It's kind of crashing up there. Smacking some foam around. Goodness. Gonna knock that down. Actually, knock it all down. Look at that one. Look at that. There we go. Now that's starting to look like something. Can also just this is an alternative. Can also just kind of give these waves a little crunch up. Maybe this one gets a little crunch up crunch up that's all i'm doing splashing up and i'm trying not to make a happy face we'll use more of the corner there we go all right back to our filbert or whatever brush you choose way up here way up here Nothing but dark. That's why I try not to put too much over here. Roll around the darkness of the canvas. The paint is already here. I want to knock that way back. I just hit my wall with a wad of paint there. <laughs> Wipe that off. There we go. And we'll shape some rocks out of that. Nothing to it, right? <clears throat> Nothing to it. What else do we want? Oh, what about over here? Oh no, we lost some of our wave. Who cares? Our wave. And this is actually kind of comes in front of that. This lands a little bit higher than that wave. If that makes sense. We're up a little bit. This is going to hit down here somewhere. Kind of get that good and dark, find a nice line, and we'll put some good things in here. Pretty things. All right, that'll give us a start. It's a good start. Good start. I want to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm using a lot of paint. There's a reason. I want it to show up. A little rock in front of that one. Uh, I don't know if they, these are rocks. What do they call them? Like jetties or something? Yetis, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Kidding. Just be loose with it. Keep it dark. And then maybe there's even a space for a little one right here. 
So it looks a little more balanced. Got three little guts here and four over here, and then I give a seven. There we go. Yeah, I think that's work, the working pretty good. Pretty good. Don't bring that one out too far. You get put as many as you want. It's your world. It's your world. All right, now what? Let's work on our land. I'm going to take a fan brush. I've got it here. A fan brush with a little bit of white and a little bit of the dark that we put on the color of the canvas. And I want to think about a little bit of light hitting these. Not much, just kind of like that. If I hadn't dirtied my flat brush, I'd probably rather use it. They're just touching a little bit of something on me to give them a little, a little bit of detail. There. This is a seascape anybody could do. Guarantee you. Guaranteed. Do better than me, even. Doesn't take much to do that. I think you guys know I don't like anything to paint. There we go. A little bit of moonlight hitting those little pieces of land. This one's important to do. Leave that very dark right there. And then come here. Wherever you think that little shadow would hit. I'm sorry, the little highlight. What's in my tea? Literally, it's nothing in my tea. It's just tea. Um, kind of brush that down a little bit. Like that. Let's bring it out just a little bit more right there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then we'll probably take the big brush and just kind of knock those down a little bit. And then we're going to shape this one too. Like I said, the filbert may be even easier to use here. I don't know. We use whatever we've got in our hand. So the big thing, if you ever paint with me, is don't worry about what brush I'm using. Use what brush you're comfortable with. You're not comfortable doing this with a fan brush. Use a knife. I won't yell at you. I like the effects that this gives me. Soft. Highlights. Just kind of brush over two hairs and some hairs. Somebody famous once said. Just like that. There we go. That one down a little bit more. And these I'm going to wait on. i got to move my tea here. Move a couple other things too. It's good tea. Strong. Hey, it's lemon or something. Very good. All right. I got it paint thinner. A little bit of a dark color. Right into that. What do we want to do here? Well, we want to have some little grasses and stuff living in here. For sure. Little grass over here, even. This will knock that wave back even more. See, I'm kind of big circles almost. You don't want as big a grass, don't do as big a circle. I don't care what it looks like in here. I can knock that down. And then, the easiest thing to do is kind of like sea oats or something. If you want, just touch a few little dots on there and it'll trick people into thinking it's something fancy. So you guys are like, oh my God, that's so amazing. Or maybe that's just in my head. I don't know. 
<clears throat> Same thing over here. Who knows what we want, really? A couple here. Maybe, maybe a couple more. Maybe a couple more. We're not done. It's been easy painting, but it never, nothing's ever quick with me. I like to take things slow. I'm going to take my fan brush here before I get too far off track and just kind of put a little bit of a highlight hitting that gra grass. This is sand. Don't use the same angle all the time there. I need to come down in here. I almost think. On this one, I made a mistake. I think it's the cheap canvas I'm not used to. It's hard to move this paint around. I almost wish I had a little bit of a liquid medium under here. Liquid or something at least. Something in there. Help me move that around. Probably have to go back through those. I think it needs a little highlight there. Paint backwards again, don't we, Graham? You guys know that. Anything over here? Probably. I don't know if these are rocks or just sand. Push a little harder. Get a little more highlight. There we go. Now again, we take. Let's take the big brush. Big brush got more hairs. So it actually knocks things down a little bit better. Yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Over here. You could use a knife for this too. I don't think I've fallen out of love with a knife. It's just trying to do things a little easier. Some people like the knife, some people don't. Alright. In that last video, I had some sound issues. I hope everybody saw my little note at the last 10 minutes, maybe. They wouldn't do anything fancy. You didn't miss anything. You could see it. You just couldn't hear me talk. Knocking these back up. All right. I brought you guys a little closer to the canvas there. All right, here we go. Something I hate doing. And I'll still hate them after I do them. Take my fan brush here. I think it's just easy to use this. Almost forgot to highlight my little guy there. I have to put something on that. May not need it. Alright, here we go. Take the brush. Put you up the trunk right there. Put you a little bit thicker one. Make that one tossed. Put another one right. Right next to it. Okay. Here we go. Now the easy part. Easy, but I hate doing it. We need to put some little Piney, what piney, geez Louise. You know what these are. Palmy, how about that? That work better? Good bit of paint. And I like my middle to be kind of nice and full there. That one's coming in front. That one's a little thicker. We're going to work on these. I know they look awful right now. Man, that's a lot of paint, Graham. Starting to look like a Medusa or something here. Sock some paint over here. Kind of growing together anyway. Go. 
go. Okay. Well, if y'all can see those or not, probably should have made them a little bit lower so everybody could see them. Alright, let's take our grip on her now. A little bit of just a drop of paint thinner on it. Kind of pull those out. be loose. They're just up there blowing around anyway. I like to put a little line back in them. Don't let them get too big on you. Pulling them out on both sides. They're gonna have those little I keep calling it a pine tree. They're going to have those little palm things sticking out everywhere. Palm needles or whatever it is. I'm not near a beach. Like it shouldn't matter. If you're going to paint a tree, you should know what it is. I'm not really worried about highlighting these too much. I will highlight them just a touch. Just a little bit. Right there, it got a little messy. Almost doesn't need a highlight. Need just one little drop of paint there to make it flow a little easier sometimes. That one's getting kind of messy. No, I like that one. This one. I don't like that one. Oh well. Can't be happy all the time. You can try. Oh, let us try for that, I guess. Man, one is just looking, it's diseased. Around here we've got little bugs that gets in our uh, trees and eats the barks off of them and things. Maybe that same thing happens at the beach. Some kind of beetle, beach beetle. Let's put something right there. Man, that is just looking gnarly. Gnarly. If we wanted to, this will kind of make this will kind of help, I think. Clean my script liner. Go back to our light blue and white that we use kind of a. Well, it's just the white with, with our dark. And here and there. Maybe there's a... A few that gets a little highlight on them. A little bit of that blue... Moonlight. Hope y'all can see that. On this way, get kind of crazy with it. I think this one could benefit from some of that blue. <laughs> Looking so bad. There we go. Like I said, just remember my beach beetle. Got a hold of these pretty good. That looks awful. Let's go with that, man. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, maybe. While we're at it, maybe. maybe there's some of this grass that gets a little color. A little bit of highlight hitting that. A few pieces at least. There we go. 
Then I've changed my mind. You've convinced me. I think it's going to look better with some little bit of knife work here. Some white with our... Yeah. Maybe a little bit more dark in there. I don't want it too white. Too white. We'll throw it off here. There we go. Blue sand will look better. Kind of let it graze wherever it hits. It'll put down a little bit of a highlight there. Yeah, let's just do the whole thing. Making executive decisions here on the run. I'll have to go back over there. Don't worry about that. Sand. I think I could probably lock in a little dark on that side, even. It's almost like a mountain now. If y'all can see that, makes a little shadow side. Besides my one deformed palm tree, it looks pretty good. A couple little things, if you wanted to. If you wanted to. Painting can be done. Or, you could say, well, I see little trees back here. You could do that. You could put little trees back on your land. Little things, drag them down. Oh, I had to lose white on that brush. And then just kind of pop them up a little bit. And you get a couple little strands of things. I don't think I care for them, so you know the fix. Whoop. And there they go. And I'll put a little bit of highlight back on that. We're never really committed. There we go. I like that shape better anyway. Let me just grab a little bit of this. I'm just going to change to the filbert now. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of light there. I'm getting lazy. Getting light. I'm doing this one light. There we go. Just something. Should throw a little bit here. Maybe. And we know we've got to do this. Nobody called me on it. Hmm. Airplane noises. Something like that. Wherever you think you land. And this one could come on down if you wanted it to. Okay. Put a little bit of highlight on those. I don't think I'm going to. Now, for detail. If and you want. Then be very cautious doing this. Maybe there's a few little veins running up in here. If they get a little thick on you like that one, just get rid of it. That kind of looks better that way. Let's do one right here. Just some little lines to indicate a little more movement. Here and there. Not everywhere. see much in here so 
water is getting pretty thick with the foamies. Looks like a disease. And do, 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 do. if you wanted to, you can now kind of go back and put some more back here, maybe in that section of our land. Make sure if you touch your mountain just like I did, or your little jetty or whatever, you go back and clean it up. You're a little bit near that. All right. Oh. Maybe. Maybe there's some. Little splashes that get over here. Maybe a little bit over here. Taking that. Taking a brush. It's that I'm using the. Uh, what was laying here? The dagger. Like that splash, I'm getting rid of. There we go. We got a little bit more over there. Let's show. Tip for you: Don't let your paint brushes roll through your paint, just like mine just did. Just setting it down a little bit. It's a little thick for me. All right. Kind of like the when I use the filter. Filter looks really good for these highlights on these. Play around with this for a minute if you don't mind. Take that big brush and kind of calm them down. Kind of roll it a ways there. Wish I could get back there. Probably better to not do it my way. Something. Oh, I love that one. Painting for me like this is more of a figuring out what works and what doesn't. I don't mind you guys going along for the ride. I am no expert on anything. I'll never claim to be an expert ever. If you ever hear me say I'm so good at something, please smack me. Humility is key to anything. Even if I think I'm good at something, I won't ever say it. Not say I'm proficient. You won't hear me brag. I really don't have anything to brag about. All right. However much you want here. Just kind of letting that paint come off. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm going to scoop my chair back. I can't see when I'm right up on it. we got a little brighter on me than I really like, but it, it'll work. And again, I am not good at palm trees. I just realized that. Some of it's good, some of it's not. We'll take that as a win, right? If you make something that looks like, you know, somewhat good, you're okay. All right, guys. Super easy. Uh, way to just do a seascape without really any waves that you have to worry about rolling over and doing the eye and doing all the splash and foam and all that stuff. Uh, I wish I had left one of these palm trees a little bit lower so you could have seen a little bit more of the palm action. Because I like... I actually like some of this that's happening. It looks pretty good. I like the, um, the way we've got... Our sky looking. Let's go with this a little bit right there. Got a weird shadow. I would have liked to lift my dark a little bit more pronounced here in the water. And don't mess with this. If you're doing, just watch me mess it up. 
and laugh. I'm just kind of setting that down a little bit more. Subdue it. Got a little bright in there. I want it kind of bright. Not that bright. There we go. What I need to do is get right there. That's bothering me. And right there. There we go. Yeah, I don't mind that now. One more little thing. Since you're here. Since you're here. I think I took a little too much out. <laughs> this is what I said. Figure out. I'm just kind of put a little bit more back in. A little bit more movement. There. There we go. Couple of lines here and there. You can really push on these. You know you have to do anything about them. See a wave right there kind of coming in. Most well, seascapes, you're not going to have waves crash this way and then this way. It looks odd. The water usually goes to one direction, even on the beach. So I want to kind of, mine are going all this way, so I still want to make them look like they're going that way. Before I get too far going here, let's just call that good. Big brush. Knock it down slightly. Call it done. All right, there it is. I may fiddle with this a little bit. I like the sand. Like the filbert highlighting. And that's about it. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Hope you can hear me. I'm talking a little bit low tonight. Like I said, been playing with the grandkid all day. My voice is a little hoarse. Alright. Take care, everybody.